Well, we're joined now by the chair of the European Coaster Club, Paul Burton. I know, Paul, you're a huge roller coaster and theme park enthusiast. But many parents, this half term for so many across the country means that they will be thinking of going to theme parks and events, horrible events like yesterday, of which there seem to be more and more, um, make you think twice, don't they? Uh, you know, what happened yesterday was absolutely awful. Um, but, you know, ride safety is absolutely paramount in everybody's eyes, from the park through to the ride manufacturers. Um, if you take um, America alone, 335 million per people per year take 1.6 billion rides on roller coasters and other amusement park uh, attractions during that, that, that year. So these rides are built with the, the highest level of safety possible. And obviously the HSC are there, they do an annual inspection in, in terms of the, the ride accreditation, in terms of a certificate supplied to say that it's, it's safe to ride. There is then daily inspections that are done, weekly inspections that are done. Um, so to make sure that they are, they are right. Um, and obviously, there are, you know, on an, in any ride, before you go on the ride, yet again, as a self, as, as a person, you take a precaution. So if you have a, you know, a, a back injury or you suffer from, um, you know, a, a, a heart situation, then obviously you're advised not to ride. So we should all take care. But the ride safety is absolutely paramount in, up there and out front. But things do go wrong, though, despite that. And, and we've got this worrying statistic that there were 489 injuries at amusement parks and fun fairs in 2014 to 15. That was 100 up on the year before. And people do feel like they're hearing more about these incidents. But, you know, like I said, you know, you know, 335 million people in America, 250 million people in in Europe, you know, are riding, are going to amusement parks every year. And, and you know, the, the number of rides that are taken on these rides are one point six. So the, the, in terms of the, the, the risk, it's very, very low. Um, you know, the, the risk is, is, is lower in this ledger part of the ledger industry than any other part of the ledger industry. It's a so the risk is incredibly small. It's a poor point well made, Paul, but of course, even if it's just one in 60 million, as I think the odds are, no one wants to be that one, do they? So is there anything an individual uh, no, can do to protect themselves or, uh, when they embark upon these rides? Or is it literally thinking, I'm playing the odds here, I'm going to have to hope it's not me? No, I, I, I think yet again we all take precautions. You know, the park is there to make you, uh, to make, make sure that you're safe. The ride engineers are there to make sure that you're safe. Safety is absolutely out there in front of anything that they do. Um, as a person in an amusement park, there are signs to say, you know, um, you know, warnings to say that if you are suffering from, you know, a, a back problem, um, a heart condition, dizziness, if you're pregnant, please don't ride. Um, but the rides are incredibly, incredibly safe. The, 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 in terms of the numbers and the statistics, it's very, very low. It's very, very low indeed. OK, Paul, yeah. thanks very much. That's Paul Burton, you know, the I... chair of the European Coaster Club. And it, it just made me feel awful. I wasn't comfortable with my body, whereas I looked at those photos and straight away I, I just cried because I didn't think I'd be able to look like that again. Mm. It made you feel sexy again. Yeah. You got trolled.